we are going to add an audio input capture device. Audio input capture. I'm gonna leave it as audio input capture. This is the same thing as with video. Whatever your device is, if you have a microphone or an audio interface, maybe you're using this through XLR into something like a Focusrite or a PreSonus, you're gonna look for those devices and you're going to select them as your audio input capture device. I'm gonna leave it labeled as audio input capture and click OK. And in device, I'm going to choose Fifi and microphone. When you use it through USB, it will always show up as Fifi and microphone. Now that I've selected it, you can see that the bars on the left side of the canvas are showing audio signal come through, the green, yellow, and red. As you get to the top when it says zero, that is clipping and you're gonna hear distortion. Sometimes in the red, that means your preamp might be turned too high on your microphone and you need to turn that preamp down. If you hear any distortion or any kind of gravelly sound to the signal, that's going to be a sign that it might be too hot or too uh, strong into your computer and you need to turn that down. I am going to turn down the input source just a little bit and you'll see that it now it stays in the green without going above. But if I turn up the gain on the microphone just a little bit more, you're gonna see that it's going up into the yellow, just above minus 15, right between minus 10, minus 15. This is a great spot to be, minus 12, because you give yourself plenty of headroom so you're not clipping your signal and getting that distortion. But also, if you talk really close to the mic, you still have a little bit of headroom to be loud or to be close to the mic if you want to uh, add some emphasis to something that you're saying. 